Uh, something that I saw this week around goal setting. So I've added some, some new bullets to this. But one of the things I saw around the rich is this thing around goal setting. And average people only set their goals, like they set their goals really high. Like average people set their goals, like what they want, like way, way out, or they don't have goals at all. Like they're just, they're clueless to what they want because their pattern or behavior is around setting their goals completely out of reach. And the rich set their goals high also. So don't think that like, uh, I, you, you just got to get the, this distinction. I think getting this distinction really is going to make a difference. The rich also set their their dreams, their goals in the clouds, but then they create benchmarks. And let me help you see the logic behind this. So like a child, but we're going to use a child as an example. If you were to help a child grow, you're not going to set up challenges that would have you like have the child's goal be completely out of reach. You know, like I, I've got two younger boys uh, that aren't even teenagers yet. And it's like, I'm not going to give them a goal that like is completely impossible for them to achieve. Like it would just demotivate them. You know, it would demotivate them, disenfranchise them. And it, it's gonna have, if I keep doing that, it's gonna have the, their attitude towards setting goals or it's gonna change their attitude towards like even wanting to work towards goals, uh, like out of the picture. Like they're just not gonna wanna do it anymore. So instead what we do with kids is we set up challenges where they could fail, but there's actually a high probability of success. There's actually a high likelihood of them getting what they want, but it's a challenge. It's a stretch. And you hear that in a lot of uh, types of trainings that do this experiential type work is we do what's called stretches. Or we do what's called challenges where it puts us right at our line and then asks us to go a little bit further. And so this is actually the process of creating lasting growth 